In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of the one, only God, Amen. One God, His Word, His Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, at times we hear, we read, we see um, on YouTube, on TV, um, some former, let's say, Catholic priests or Orthodox priests who have either switched to other Christian denominations or even to other religions. Of course, uh, I am not here to judge people, being myself an imperfect uh, Catholic Palestinian Jerusalem priest, but let us have clear ideas. A Catholic priest usually celibate, is supposed to be a learned priest, which means that the Catholic Church, at least in the Roman Catholic branch, which we call Latin also, does not accept people, men, young men or less young men, who have not accomplished biblical theological and philosophical studies. It's at least seven years after uh, high school of real study, investigation, research. This is why it is astonishing that a former a, a priest, a real Catholic priest, who has really learned, let's say, about church history, would switch to other denominations because simply he reads, he knows from church history that most of these denominations were born in, let's say, in Europe, in Western Europe, sometime around 1520, 1520, which means nearly uh, 16 centuries after the foundation of the church. Well, or let's say it, 1,490 years after the foundation of the church here in Jerusalem. Of course, again and again, we are not going to judge people. Sometimes a person claims, I left priesthood because of this dogma, because of that. In fact, it is because of personal problems. One of them said, I felt lonely, lonely. Lonely, which means that he felt alone. So, he had a problem with celibacy. But, it's not a reason, if you have a problem of celibacy, to become Buddhist or Hindu or, or, or something else, you know. You may simply leave ministry. You may simply leave ministry with a permission from the Pope, from the Bishop, and continue to be a Christian. So, we are not judging people on the one hand, but we are also asked not to be too naive, not to be too simple-minded, and always to think that the whole truth is being said. For example, someone, uh, an allegedly former Catholic priest from England, although he has an Arabic name. So what extraction is he? That's another question. He started, so he says on YouTube or on video, he started to think of leaving Christianity because a young boy somewhere in Egypt said to him, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, peace be to you. Well, haven't this former priest, if he ever had been priest, had he never ever read or heard even since his childhood, without, as an altar boy, without even needing to become a priest, had he never heard, especially in the Roman Catholic rite, that the bishop says to people, 
Peace be to you. Peace be to all. In Arabic, Assalamu alaikum. Jami'akum. Peace be to you. Irini Pasi, the, the bishop, and the priest in the Syria cried, Shlomo alaykhun, or Shlomo al-Khulkhun. Peace be to you all. Well, before that, has he never read in the Gospels, in the Gospel of St. John, that Jesus would greet the apostles and disciples by saying, Peace be to you. Peace be to you. Israeli Jews greet each other until nowadays, until today. Shalom, shalom aleichem. So, if a young boy says to me, peace be to you, this can be Jewish, this can be, this can be Christian, before becoming Islamic, as well as alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, thank God. Well, the beginning of many letters of St. Paul, I thank my God for this. Thanks be to God. Deo gratias. In every, in every Latin Mass. So, it is good uh, to, to know also about uh, these things that, and now I am coming to the lesson, that a lesson that the Catholic Church learned from very painful experiences, especially in the Middle Ages, where perhaps someone was, was called to be a priest, or he was prepared to be a priest even when he was 12 years old, or a cardinal when he was 12 years old. But the Church understood that you cannot be socially a priest, you have to be spiritually, culturally. And this is why the Orthodox Church also is keen on giving instruction, biblical, philosophical, theological instruction to its monks, to its priests, and bishops are always chosen among the learned clergy. Well, uh, I can, uh, the, the, you know, I can uh, tell more things about that, that case, uh, but I would uh, prefer end here this, um, this uh, talk of mine. Uh, please, when you see a so-called ex-Catholic priest, then don't just listen to him with all the respect to him. Listen also to his superiors. Listen also to his spiritual guide. And then, many times, unfortunately, and I'm not perfect as I said, you will discover that there are many other things behind what is said on the screen. Thank you for your attention.